This is not an EV. Not a performance car powered by fossil fuel. Introducing e-fuel. The future of classic fossil fuels seems to be just about settled. The negative effects that come from tens of millions of drivers burning gasoline on a daily basis have serious effects on the ecosystem. Because of this, governments all around the world are looking to regulate the automotive industry to prevent further damage being done to the Earth's climate. But Porsche and several partners have started production of a climate-neutral e-fuel aimed at replacing gasoline in vehicles with traditional internal combustion engines. This holds a lot of promise for fans of the internal combustion engine. One of the main issues the internal combustion fans face with electric vehicles is the experience of driving them. Although the 0-60 times of EVs like Teslas can be impressive and fun to experience, electric cars tend to move in near silence, even at maximal acceleration. Due to this, the experience of driving a Tesla is just missing some of the magic that many have come to appreciate about cars. This makes some car enthusiasts hopeful about other alternatives to carbon-neutral transportation like using e-fuel. So what is e-fuel? E-fuels are synthetic fuels that are created by carbon and water when they are mixed and subjected to the process of electrolysis. With the help of electricity, Water is split into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen together with a CO2 from the atmosphere can then be converted into synthetic liquid fuels. Depending on the CO2 transformation process used, the fuels obtained vary. They can be E-kerosene for aviation, or E-diesel or E-gasoline for long-distance road transport. Electricity from renewable energies is used in their production and only as much CO2 is emitted during use as was previously bound during production. E-fuels can therefore make a climate-neutral contribution in automobile sector. Unlike other fuel sources proposed as alternatives to electric, e-fuels can power a traditional combustion engine without the need for modifying it, meaning that the mass production of e-fuels can help millions of cars that are already on the road remain in use. As a result, nothing will change. All traditional gasoline stations can be used to supply e-fuels. So when the customer wants to fill up his car with e-fuel, simply drive to the nearest filling station. E-fuel might sound too good to be true, but there is a catch. So far, e-fuel development has largely focused on high-performance cars and vintage vehicles. Even Porsche, one of the largest companies researching synthetic gasoline, explicitly said any advances will not replace its plan to electrify the cars it sells. Instead, e-fuel could keep cars that can't flip to an electric powertrain on the road without the fear of any future penalties or climate guilt. There are many steps in the process of turning carbon and water into usable synthetic fuel. And once the fuel is made, it still needs to go through the process of refinement in order to be usable. The lengthy process makes synthetic fuels 10 times more expensive than traditional gasoline. This means that the cost to operate an e-fuel-powered car may greatly exceed the long-term cost of an electric vehicle. But still, since the ingredients of e-fuel are easier to come by and they can be used to power a traditional combustion engine, they may be a better alternative than other proposed green technology like hydrogen cars and electric, which would require the manufacturing of millions of new vehicles, along with the infrastructure required to fuel and power all of these new cars.